number 37, up three from 40, on my fantasy playlist, September 6, 1986. Robert Palmer, I didn't mean to turn you on. Robert Palmer, the first song I remember hearing by Robert Palmer, Every Kind of People, had a Caribbean flavor to it. Just sounded like something that was concocted right in the Bahamas. It was probably recorded in the Bahamas. And I uh, heard it on WLSQ from Montgomery. Top 40 station I picked up at night here in Tuscaloosa. Nice record. But he's had some, so he had a couple of albums out before that. He did one called Sneaking Sally Through the Alley. I don't remember hearing his version of it, but I remember hearing Ringo Starr's version of that record. And there was a song he came out with in 1976. It was a jaunty record called Man Smarter, well, called Man Smart, Women Smarter. Only got as high as number 63 on Billboard's Hot 100, though, and that was in 1976. No impact here on the charts. Well, no impact here in the States. And then we got Every Kind of People. That was his first top 40 here in America. And and, and then Moon Martin's, he, he did Moon Martin's Bad Case of Loving You. That was his first hit, big hit, back in the summer of 1979. And then he teamed up, later on he teamed up with John and Andy Taylor of Duran Duran. Duran Duran, they were on hi hiatus around 1984-85, and he teamed up with uh, those two guys from Duran Duran, and also with Tony Thompson, a drummer with Sheik, and Bernard Edwards, also of Sheik, and they created Power Station. Some like it hot, and Get It On, they did a blistering, a hard rocking rendition of Get It On, the T-Rex record. I think that was one of the best remix remakes that ever came out. That was in the summer of 1985. Robert Palmer, he had a pinch, more than a pinch of soul in his musical DNA. One, Addicted to Love started out as a duo with Shaka Khan. That's, that would be the song that would make him a superstar. Addicted to Love, off of Riptide. Riptide, by the way, was produced by Bernard Edwards of Chic. Took three months to record the album. Recorded in the Bahamas. Huge album for Robert Palmer. He met Shaka Khan at a nightclub, and they hit it off. And Robert Palmer said, you know, I've been wanting to work with you for ages. You're one of the prime people I want to work with. Would you like to come down to the studio and work with me Work with me on this new record that I've made or creating? And supposedly she sang with him on this record, but one story has it that her people called Robert Palmer and said, you know, you go, you're going to have to erase her from the record because it's going to be a conflict of interest to her because this record's going to be out at the same time as... She's got two or three other records out. So her vocals were erased. But another story has it that Shaka Khan's record company said, no, you can't work with Robert Palmer. You can't work on Robert Palmer's record label, which was Island, Island Record Label. I believe it was Island Record Label. She couldn't work, she couldn't work on his, she couldn't work with him on his record label. So therefore, she was well, she was erased from the focal track of Addicted to Love. That would have been some duo right there. Shaka Khan and Robert Palmer with Tony Thompson banging those drums on Addicted to Love and Andy Taylor playing guitar on Addicted to Love. So Hyperactive was the second single off the album. Didn't do too well. And I didn't really fancy that record that much. It wasn't as commercial as Addicted to Love. And then I didn't mean to turn you on. Another R&B record. Sherelle did it back in the back, yeah, back in the summer of 1984. The, I, I didn't mean to turn you on. Was written by Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis and Sherelle. She killed it. She did a great version of the record. Remember watching a video on Night Tracks back in the summer of 1984, Sherelle. But her version only got as high as number 73 on Billboard's Hot 100. Nowhere near the top 40. But Robert Palmer took his version up to number two in the States, went to number nine in Britain. You know, Robert Palmer's done some R&B covers. This guy was electric. Some of his early stuff, like uh, Men Smart, Women Smarter, and maybe to some extent, every kind of people influenced by Little Feet, but influenced by some of the funk bands, or jazzy bands like the Meters. 
he covered. You might remember his cover of, oh gosh, that song that, that the Gap Band did. I can't remember. I had the I had the title of the song in my head. Well, he covered a cap. He covered a Gap Band record in the late eighties, but nineteen ninety one. God, he killed it. He nailed it. It was one of the most loveliest remakes I've ever heard. He did a remake, a medley of Marvin Gaye's. It was uh, Mercy, Mercy Me, or was it What's Going On? No, it's Mercy, Mercy Me, along with the. Uh, I Want You, Marvin Gaye, two hits by Marvin Gaye back in the 70s, seamless, put together seamlessly, medley, by Robert Palmer back in the summer of 1991. The way he hit those notes when he did that that bridge or when he did that part of I Want You, God, it brings goosebumps. He was, he was up there, he was getting up there with Marvin Gaye. But let's get back to this record. I didn't mean to turn you on. Robert Palmer from Riptide at number 37 on my fantasy playlist, September 6, 1986.